Happy September. I am so excited for today's video. It's my annual fall capsule wardrobe, specifically on a petite body type. I'm 5'1 for reference. I make these videos every single year for you guys, sharing my favorite pieces. I will have everything linked down below along with sizing details in case you were interested in anything. And I know I'm posting this quite early, like literally the first weekend of September, I'm posting a fall essentials video. Now I do that because it's Labor Day weekend there's lots of sales going on so if you are interested in anything hopefully it is on sale so that way you can save some money if you are planning on shopping for fall items this weekend now in this video is only clothing pieces so tops outerwear and bottoms uh in the next day so either tomorrow or the day after i'll be sharing my fall shoes roundup so stick around for that video i'm not sure if i'm going to post that tomorrow or the day after but it will be out for labor day weekend in case anything's on sale and you guys can hopefully snag it while it's marked down so let's start with the tops category i have so many many beautiful options to share with you guys most of them being sweaters because it is sweater weather or at least it almost is but I'll start with what I'm wearing here so this is a slimmer ribbed long sleeve top I got from mango the only thing I'm sad about is that it doesn't come in more neutral colors so that I would have totally just bought but purchased more if they had it uh, the quality is incredible the fabric is very smooth and very soft and the length is great for petites it's easy to tuck in it's not too cropped it's not too long it doesn't add any bulk to your midsection so it just tucks in perfectly and stays in place and the sleeves are probably just a tad long but i actually don't mind that it kind of makes it feel a little bit more cozy if it's a little bit longer but you can just pull it up like this and then it's totally fine these types of long sleeve tops are perfect for layering so if you have outerwear pieces that you're wearing for fall you can layer on top of it and it won't feel so bulky underneath a jacket and then i recommended this last year but i got it in a different color it's the alpaca sweater from quince so i have this in black i just picked it up in gray it is absolutely phenomenal. It's literally an exact dupe for the Everlane alpaca sweater, but it's half of the price. I actually own the Everlane alpaca sweater. I purchased it before I found out about this one and I compared the two. I did a video on it last year. It is identical, like literally identical fit, material quality, everything. Uh, so I highly recommend the Quince one now because it's half the price and it's so beautiful. Um, I went with the charcoal gray color. I'm really excited to be adding in some gray pieces to my wardrobe because I don't have much of that. And I think it'll be really fun to style some cooler tones and have just some different outfits for this fall. Another item from Quince I recommended so much last year. It's their Fisherman Crew sweater. So this is one of the least, I would say, petite friendly pieces. However, I still do love it and recommend it. It kind of just has that more oversized relaxed look to it and this is actually in a size small um i actually ordered an extra small but they accidentally sent a small but i'm just rolling with it i think it looks fine but it is a little bit long in the sleeves it is quite oversized but if you just tuck it in it'll just help define your waistline and just look less oversized but the quality of this is phenomenal very thick very warm and i love like all the ribbing the texture to it i also own this in black i wore that so much last year i got the white as well and it's just perfect everyday sweater for fall and winter time that you can wear on its own or layer okay next up is this free people off the shoulder top oh and it's literally falling off of my coat hanger Anyways, I'll just hold it up like this um, and try it on for you guys. So I love it. It's slimming in the waistline, the torso, in the arms, but then it slides off your shoulders so naturally and kind of drapes there and looks so effortless and so chic at the same time. The texture of this is more of like a, it's like a thermal or waffle knit texture and i've said this before i stay away from those textures because they tend to look really cheap however this is done really well to where it actually looks very nice looks more higher end expensive uh, i think it's because the texture and the stitching of it is smaller so putting close-ups here it's really small very subtle it's not so big and bold of like a waffle or thermal texture so uh this is actually done really well to where it looks more high end so i love the off the shoulder detail it's just really effortless and looks so beautiful okay so this is my first year of getting a sweater that's sleeveless and i wanted to do this because i wanted to have like thicker sweaters like this but that were easier to layer under like my blazers my jacket because a lot of the issues i faced is i had all these really nice like chunkier sweaters 
but they were so hard to wear under my jackets when I wanted to layer, but it wasn't quite cold enough yet to wear like multiple thick layers. So I picked up a sleeveless option from Abercrombie and it's absolutely wonderful. This makes it so much easier to layer for fall time when it's still cool, but not like winter temperature. So that really helped. So this is a great option for that. The quality is amazing. It has a slit on the side. Uh, the length of it is great. You can either do a little front tuck or leave it untucked. Such a petite friendly sleeveless sweater. And I got this in my regular size, extra small. I would say it runs totally true to size. Next up is this cardigan from Abercrombie. And I love the button detailing. I just got it in solid black. It has side slits. The sleeves are a little bit bigger but they're not so large and frumpy where it's just hard to do your normal day-to-day -day life uh, so this is actually done where it's like looser but in a more practical way and the one thing I'm a little bummed about this is that I just checked the stock of it the black I think is like almost out of stock I think the white is still fully stocked but this is me checking today like a week before I post this video really hoping they restock this if they haven't already so i will keep this link down below and if it's not in stock i'll link some other similar options for a cropped cardigan but i really wanted to get a cropped version of a cardigan because i wanted to wear it with like my high-waisted skirts or my high-waisted jeans or my trousers uh something that just hits more closer to my natural waistline or hips so that way showing off as much leg as i can when i'm wearing bottoms and not breaking it up too much with like a mid-length cardigan so a cropped one i thought would be perfect for that Okay, so something other than a sweater, I thought this would be so fun as more of like an edgier top or something a little bit more feminine, sexy, great for date night, or I could even see this paired with either trousers or jeans for maybe any holiday events. It's this beautiful ruched off the shoulder bodysuit. It looks so stunning on. I love how it looks in the back, in the front. I love the off shoulder. The fabric is so smooth and so stretchy. I went with my usual extra small, paired it with skinny jeans, and it just gives a really nice, sexy, kind of edgy look. Beautiful, very simple but still looks unique at the same time so love it and highly recommend it and of course quality is incredible so the last three tops i wanted to share are more investment sweaters and tops uh they're from Cezanne. so two i'm including that i purchased actually in the springtime that i think are perfect for fall and then one new one that i purchased that i'm so excited to share so i'm going to share the new one first uh this one is called the lucas jumper and i fell in love with this because of the dramatic buttons they're larger and it goes about halfway through the top of course you can unbutton it have it open or have it completely closed i would say this is in line of the most petite friendly sweaters that i purchased from Cezanne. like the length is perfect and you can also crop it a little bit by just tucking it in and it stays like that which is really neat the sleeve length is great as well one of the most petite friendly pieces i did get this in a extra extra small so if you're in between sizes this is great to go down a size because it runs a little bit big but it is definitely really petite friendly very thick soft and cozy the buttons are so unique i really love how they're a little bit textured you're looking to invest into beautiful timeless french looking pieces Cezanne is the way to go you get everything checked off style quality fit is just incredible so this i love so petite friendly so cozy and so stylish next up is the alexis sweater so i purchased in the springtime so this is a thinner sweater so definitely not as chunky as the lucas jumper so i love this because it has the button detailing you guys know i love buttons i think it's a really great way to elevate sweaters tops in a very classic and minimal way. So this I think has two versions. You can get this in a button version and then no buttons. I personally love the buttons because you guys know I love to expose my neckline. Uh, so this is a great way of doing that. I love stripes too. This is, I think I mentioned this, a thinner sweater. Uh, so it's great for layering. So, so perfect to keep you warm, but layer at the same time. The Alexis sweater is very, very expensive. I do think it's worth every penny, but it is, even pricier than the Lucas jumper. So if you're looking for a classic striped sweater for less, I have another option I really wanted to share also by Cezanne, but almost half of the price of the Alexis sweater. 
So this one is not technically a sweater. It's considered a top. However, it is very thick, so it definitely will keep you warm. This is a great classic striped sweater option that is almost half the price of the Alexis sweater, and the quality is just as good in my opinion. Yes, this is not technically a sweater, but it's definitely really, really thick for a shirt where you can easily wear this for the fall time and even winter, just layer it up with the wool coat those were all the tops let's go ahead into the next category which is outerwear always had a plaid blazer on my wish list and i actually picked this one up from amazon i have this but in black and then i saw they had in plaid so of course i had to grab it the material is different than their solid colored blazers this is more of like in a wool material kind of like a sweater almost um very structured tailored uh this one i would say you can go down a size because it does run quite big if you're petite especially so it can fit better in the sleeves and if you're in between sizes so uh this i like how it looks it's easy to layer with like slimmer long sleeves like this i love the color combination and it just ever so slightly cinches at the waistline not too much it still has more of that boxier fit but ever so slightly it just cinches at the waistline then this drapey trench i shared this months ago i got this from banana republic factory last i checked it's still fully in stock in all sizes and in petite as well uh this i love the color i think it also comes in black but i've always wanted an olive green color i think styling this for fall is going to be so fun uh, i have it tied in the back then i love the length and it is fully lined on the inside too but this is definitely lightweight so i wouldn't say this is good to transition for winters still gonna be pretty cold in this so this is great for fall and for spring another trench coat option is also from banana republic factory i shared this one in the spring also a longer length although this one has all this button detailing on it which is very classic and timeless and this is a longer length it is fully lined on the inside as well i'm wearing this in a extra extra small petite sleeve length is great great fit in the shoulders uh, i love the structured and slightly drapey material to it and again i'm so excited to style this for fall uh, i wore it a lot in early spring when the weather was still cooler so if you are looking for a classic trench this is my favorite recommendation i own a lot of trenches now after doing youtube for several years i collected several i would say this one overall is my favorite uh, price is fair, quality is incredible, and the fit is amazing. Comes in petite sizing, regular, and tall as well. So love, love, love it. Really good trench coat. Okay, and then I recently invested into a new coat from Mango. This is their handmade wool coat. So I actually purchased the same one in black last year. I loved it so much. I waited for them to bring it back in stock. And so they did, and I got it in the gray, which I'm so excited. I don't have a gray outerwear piece, so I'm really excited like I mentioned with the alpaca sweater here I'm really excited to style gray colors this year and I can't wait to show you what outfits I come up with this but uh, again this has a more oversized looser fit to it so if you're petite 100% go down a size I'm wearing this in a extra extra small and it's already quite large and oversized i do have it tied in the back which helps the sleeves are just a tad long so they are cuffed and this is something i do think i'm going to hem otherwise quality is great the style i love do want to mention mango put this coat on sale last year but they only put it on sale one time and the only time they put it on sale was on Labor Day weekend. So if you see it on sale this weekend and you're interested in it, snag it right now because last year they didn't even put it back up for sale on Black Friday. They only did on Labor Day weekend. So if you do see it on sale, this Labor Day weekend, 1000% snag it because it's a high chance they won't put it on sale again. Okay, the last and final category is bottoms. So I have skirts what I'm wearing and uh, pants and jeans. So first I'll start with the skirt. You guys, this is my favorite skirt I've purchased in my entire life. If I was a skirt, this would be me. Uh, I love the pleats. It's so gorgeous. It has an elastic in the back, so it's nice and stretchy. I'm wearing this in a size small slash medium. Fits fabulous. It's a great length for petites, not too short, not too long. And I love how it's pleated, but then at the end here um the pleats are not as tight it's a little bit more flared out so when you walk or stand or anything it just looks 
so freaking cute. I loved it so much. I got it in two colors. So I got the black and the beige. Love them both. And I've already been wearing them for summer. They're so classy and I just can't get enough of them right now. I cannot wait to share more outfits with these skirts with you guys. They are just so feminine, so girly, and so classy. So this was my first time investing into a pair of Cezanne trousers. So these are called the Austin trousers. Uh, these are more of like a paper bag waist style. So I actually took off the belt that it came with and added my minimal like thinner belt here. And I like how that looks more. Uh, I do have to get these hemmed a little bit. What you see here is them folded inside about a few inches. I will be hemming these. I actually know how to do that myself. So happy I know that skill. I'll be doing that myself here pretty soon. But um, they're slightly pleated in the front and I think they look so fabulous. And I would say if you're curvy, I think these will be a great option for you. They leave enough room in the hips and thighs. They do kind of stretch out just a little bit in the legs. I would say if you're in between sizing, I would say it's good to go down a size. Next up is the Everlane Dream Pants. So this is obviously less expensive than the Cezanne trouser. This is more of a thicker material. So this is great for fall and winter. It's thicker, but it's thicker to where it doesn't add bulk or make it look frumpy in the legs, which is amazing. So uh, this one, I'm wearing it in a size extra small. I would say it fits great. I would say true to size. And the only thing is, it's like the length is just a little bit too long. So I actually have it folded inside one time and it actually stays like that, which is great. And the waistband is nice and stretchy it definitely feels like a sweatpant but it looks like a trouser it has pockets and then it also has the seams going down in front of the leg all the way down it has these little pockets in the back here as well uh, so it looks like a trouser but it feels like a sweatpant which is so cool okay next up are just a couple pair of jeans I want to share that have been my favorites lately so these Abercrombie high-rise skinny jeans I've been loving these it's like a great classic skinny jean it comes in many colors I love this black color because it's not like a pure crisp black it kind of looks a little more vintage which I really like I'm wearing this in my normal size 24 and I would say it fits great uh, I think a little bit of waist gapping is what I get in it but that doesn't bother me I've mentioned that before and they just look very classic, simple, no distressing, finished hemline, all the good things. So if you're looking for a less expensive denim jean option, I highly recommend these. These look and feel so much like my designer jeans that I share here on this channel. Okay, then something that's more of a splurge. These are Goldies, the Riley jeans. Shared them a bunch, love them so much. Definitely worth the price in my opinion. I just think they are very classic and timeless no distressing finished hemline the color is fabulous the quality is amazing holds up so well wearing in my normal size 24 has a really nice classic straight leg fit to it uh i've been wearing these a bunch uh between these and my girlfriend carolina jeans it's just worn so much I love these. If you are interested in investing into jeans, I highly recommend either a Goldie Riley jeans or Girlfriend Carolina's. Uh, but lately I've been wearing the Riley jeans a ton, um, specifically just this pair. <laughs> I love the color. It just goes with so many things and I just get excited about wearing them. So anyways, love these, highly recommend them. You guys, I can't believe we already made it to the end of this video of my fall wardrobe essentials for 2023. These are my favorite videos to make every single year. Um, as always, I will have everything linked down below according to the number that you saw on screen today. Tomorrow or the day after, I will have my fall shoe essentials video up for you guys so you can see all of my shoe recommendations and options and styles that I just think are great for fall. So if you are new, subscribe for more weekly videos. I would love to have you back. Thank you so much for your love and support and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!